243. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we have 75 blasts off vertically from the launch pad with constant upward acceleration. 2.25 meters per second, feels no air resistance, reaches height 525. Its engine suddenly fail. The only force is gravity. What's the maximum height this rocket will reach? Okay, so that means um, we need to figure out after the engines are shot off, how further up it will go, yeah? Um, so if the only force acting on you is gravity, then that means Right, we know that y is equal to y initial plus v initial t plus one half a t squared. Is so answer, y initial is five twenty five, yeah, plus v initial is uh, do we know v initial? No, we, we don't know v initial, so we need to go on the side and find out what v initial is. So, um, so V equals V initial plus A T, yeah? We don't know time, yeah? But what we could do is, um, let's use the other formula, the one that says V squared minus V squared initial equals 2AX. Are you writing? Mm. Let's go. Or 2AY. Because it's yeah, in the yeah. vertical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is zero. So V will be 2AY square root. So this is 2 times 2.25. It doesn't seem like your answer or something. What do you mean? You're supposed to know how to do this. You're fine. Yeah. So then we know V is equal to, we need a calculator. So let me get the calculator really quick. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. Just what is the first Two times two point twenty five times five twenty five square root of that. So this is forty eight point six meters per second. So this becomes your V final when engines stop working. Hmm? Becomes when engines stop working. And you don't have to write this. Just just write the numbers. I'm just explaining here to you, okay? So Y equals Y initial plus V initial will be 48.6. Okay, well, we don't know what the time is, yeah? So maybe this is not the best formula to use. So then we're going to use V squared minus v squared initial equals 2ay, yeah? And we know that v squared, you're going to get to 0. v initial minus 48.6 squared equals 2 times minus 9.8, because gravity acts on you at that point, times y. And so we get y equals... Uh, divided by minus uh, nine point eight has gravity. Yeah, this is gravity. So then we get hundred and twenty point five meters, starting from five twenty five. So the height total will be five. 
above the launch pad. Five above the launch pad, it would have went 525 plus 120.5. So that's uh, 645.5. Six hundred and forty five point five meters. Okay. Part B How much time after the engine failure will elapse before the rocket comes uh, crashing down to the launch pad and how fast will it move just before it crashes? So basically, we need the time. I was still the same question? Yeah, we're on part B. How much time? So the engines will fail. So we need to figure out the time it takes to get to the highest point and the time it takes to come back to the ground. Uh, okay. Yeah? So uh, the first one we're going to find, so at the maximum height, we're going to use this equation here. At the maximum height, this is 0. And V initial, we know, is uh, 48.6 minus 9.8 T. So this is the time it takes to get to the top. Okay. So this is 48.6 divided by 9.8. So that's 4.96 seconds. Okay. Now, then it needs to go all the way from the top to the ground. Yeah, so we need to find out what that is. We know the height, so we're going to use y equals y initial plus v initial t plus one half a t squared. So uh, if the ground is the reference, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, y initial is t. time. T is time. Time, time squared. <clears throat> yeah, this is time squared. A. Acceleration. Acceleration. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, if our reference is the ground, then this y initial here will be. It, finally, it's going to be at zero. This here is six forty five point five. V initial is zero, yeah. V initial is zero minus four point nine t squared because nine point eight over uh, two is four point nine squared. So we can solve this t to be uh, six forty five divided by four point nine, and then take the square root of that. So that takes it. 11.5 seconds to get from the top to the ground and it takes it 4.96 seconds to get from where the engines fail to the top. So that means the total time will be the sum of these two times. Yeah, so T total will equal to 4.96 plus 11.5 which is Uh, 16.4 seconds. So this does it for part B. Yeah? 11, 16.4 seconds. Okay, donkey. Let me see if Skype is running because this is a little bit slow. This Captain in English. Captain Bob? Huh? Captain Tehran. Smooth? Pilot. Uh to Bad at Tahia. Hmm? Huh? Bad at Tahia, Kevak to Alrighty. So let's see here. Okay, so let's go to another page here. So now uh, part C, it says, 
sketch AYT, VYT, and YT graphs of the rocket's motion from the instant of blast off to the instant just before it strikes the launch pad. Yeah? Okay, so for part C, let's say that this is the AY and this is the uh, time. We know that you start with a vertical acceleration upwards of 2.25. Give yeah. All the way up to here. Yeah, got uh, I would like a seat uh, on your airplane today. Okay, and then after the engines fail, so when do the engines fail? We figured that the engines fail at uh, four point ninety six seconds. No, uh, the engines fail at. Uh, well, we could figure out how when do the engines fail. Whatever the engines fail, yeah, then the gravity will become, yeah. Okay, so, and then uh, this one here will be minus 9.8. All the way throughout the trip. Yeah? So, this here is minus 9.8. And this here is 2.25. And for the velocity in the y direction, Yeah, it's going to be a straight line up to here, okay, and then it's going to start slowing down, so this is V in the Y, yeah, it's going to start slowing down. So uh, then yeah going to start slowing down so it gets to zero and then it's going to become negative till it hits the ground yeah and then the displacement will be it starts at zero yeah it's going to be parabolic all the way up to there.
it's probably not going to be that steep but here the y increases up to a certain point and then it decreases to go to zero so this is how the y will look like probably going to be steeper here yeah because it's clamping faster here let me fix this here I don't like how this is looking here so here it's going to be and then it's going to go like this okay and then at some point here it's going to start falling off to zero Okay, so this does it for this question.